Hey guys, welcome to Mom's Messy Kitchen. If you are new, welcome. My name is Amanda and thank you so much for clicking on this video. I just wanna hop on really quick and remind you guys that this video is part of a Thanksgiving recipe open collab that I'm hosting with Stephanie from Home Sweet Stephanie and Missy from Love Missy XO. So if you're looking for Thanksgiving recipes, I'm sure you can find a good one in the playlist down below. And make sure if you're not already, please go subscribe to Stephanie and Missy. They're both awesome girls that I talk to almost daily, so I know you're going to love their content. Okay, so let's get into my grandmom's Pennsylvania Dutch potato and bread filling. Now we just sing the la 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 Alright, so this recipe is super short and sweet and not complicated at all, but I promise the flavors are just amazing and your family will love it. So I'm just getting started by chopping up some potatoes because we're going to make some mashed potatoes. My grandma, when she got older, she was born in 1918 and literally made this until like the year she passed away. So by the end, she was making these with instant mashed potatoes. So you can totally do that. It'll be just as good. But I'm just adding some chicken stock to my mashed potatoes to give it a little bit more flavor, some salt and pepper. And I'm just going to mash this up with a hand masher because that's what my grandma would do. We're gonna get started on our veggies. All you need is celery and onion for this, so I'm just chopping those up really fine because you really don't want huge chunks of veggies in your filling. You want everything to kind of blend together nicely. And then you're gonna saute these super lightly in some butter. You do not want these to brown, so just really lightly. then you're going to need to toast up some butter bread. It doesn't matter the brand. I'm just using this old time butter bread. It was the cheapest at Walmart. And then you're just going to chop up your bread into little cubes. And then you're going to add your toasted bread right to your sauteed onions and celery. And then you're just gonna add some salt and pepper, some parsley, and some sage. Now, I can't really remember if my grandma used sage in hers. I feel like she didn't because it didn't really taste like traditional stuffing. Um, but I'm using sage in mine because I really like it. And then you're just gonna saute this with your celery and onions for a little bit. Just let that butter absorb all those seasonings and the butter. Then you're gonna add your bread and celery and onion mixture into your mashed potatoes and stir it up. It's gonna be a little dry, so I just slowly add some chicken stock until it's a little bit, I'm not gonna say the M word, but you know what I mean. So it's not so dry, and then you're gonna pour this into a casserole dish and bake it at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. You just want that top to get super crusty and delicious. So I have to admit that when I was a kid, I didn't appreciate this filling as much as I do now. It was my favorite. I really preferred like stove top or traditional like sausage and stuffing. But now that I made this on my own, it just reminds me of my grandma and how much I miss her and how much I wish she could make it for me. Now I made it for my kids and I don't think they ever actually had it um, from my grandma. My son was probably two when she passed away, so maybe he had it when he was a baby, but they loved it and they loved tons of gravy on top and they want me to make it for Thanksgiving this year. So this is just a super cool regional dish. It is from Pennsylvania Dutch country in Pennsylvania. So that's like Eastern, like Central Pennsylvania. And that's where my grandma was born and raised and all of her recipes come from there. So it is definitely interesting take on traditional stuffing and just something different if that's what you're looking for. So make sure you go check out the playlist down below. You'll have tons of Thanksgiving recipes to choose from. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and find the perfect Thanksgiving recipe from this collab. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah, yeah.